Now I'll show you the second step of making automated uh, something automated. Are you sharing uh, this uh, first step? So you in the first step you save this dot r file in a in a specific folder. Remember where you have saved it. I have saved it in my documents and scheduled in r uh, folder. Uh, and I have saved this r script as schedule code dot r. Now in the step two we write a batch file. So open a text document in using notepad uh, write at echo of and this code okay what is that echo of at echo of is some uh, you write this code if you don't want to show your codes running in the background so when it runs uh, someone if that person is using the windows will not see all the codes that are running in the background so you, it's optional this is the main part here what's happening is in the batch file you have written that go to this folder start this rscript.exe file, uh, I mean program, and run this code using that program. That's what it is telling Windows Start Scheduler. So it's a very simple uh, two, three line code that you need to write in a notepad and save it at .bat file and save it in a specified folder, in this case, this one, in my case. Remember where you are saving it. Step three. Windows Task Scheduler to automate the process. So in the next video, I'll show you how exactly you can, uh, using the GUI, you can schedule a uh, process uh, so that the scheduler at a certain time of the day runs the batch, the batch file. Thanks for watching.